by popular demand, we apparently have some new national shilling, and it's beyond the pale. This is what, Coward and Clatt, about why Jim Harbaugh should go to the NFL. Got three cuts for you. One oh, from I Coward. can't bear three. No, you can. You got to play all of them. One from Coward, two from Clatt on today's show. I actually uh, have the first one loaded on my board. Do, Do you? you want it? Yeah. All right. Here is Coward on why Harbaugh should go back to the league. Nope, that's Ooh. not it. All that's, right. Sorry. Wrong audio. Oreos. I love Oreos. All right. Uh, Coward right here. Do you see who's up for the Carolina job? If you're Jim Harbaugh today, all the nonsense you take from the critics, all the hate you get from guys at this network and other networks, I'm Jim Harbaugh today. You know what I do? Won you 10 games, go to the Citrus Bowl without me. Boom, I'm thanks for flying United. I'm going to the NFL. Wait, wait, he won nine. And name one person at FS1 that criticizes him. Honestly, I honestly think they they use his bathwater and bottle it for Colin and the rest of the cohorts there to drink. What are we doing? They love Harbaugh. They can't apologize for him enough. And stop it. He didn't win 10. He won nine. Keep going. All right. The next two from Joe Clatt. What I bristle at is this fact of like people like, well, he's got to beat Ohio State. It's like the margin right now is so big between those two programs from what he took over and inherited to where he's trying to get. And this is not the year to evaluate Jim Harbaugh based on what he does against Ohio State. Ohio State is the best team I've ever covered. In the booth. I have never covered a better team than this Ohio State team in the booth. This is the wrong year to evaluate Jim Harbaugh based on what he does against that particular Buckeye team. Matt Rule in 2017 at Baylor, 1-11. Matt Rule today, 11-1 and and should have beat Oklahoma the first go around. Nobody's trying to hear that. Now, OSU, outstanding. Might be historically great. But I'm grading a five-year total here. What are, what are we doing? Go ahead. Let me hear the last cut before I punch myself in the balls and go home. This is deeper than that. If this was another program that he didn't have deep ties to, I think that would be the case. He grew up there. His dad coached with Bo Schimbeck. Criticism He's, every day. Yeah, that's fine. But he knows what the truth is. And I've talked to him about it. You know, Jim has done an unbelievable job. In 2014, folks, the criticism he gets is deserved when it comes to Ohio State only. Outside of that. You have to understand what he's done. He's taken a team that in 2014 was 5-7. and seven. They missed a bowl game for the third time in their history. History meaning as soon as the Big Ten expanded to allow teams to go to other bowls other than the Rose Bowl. And it was wear only helmets. the third time. Yeah. And, and we're out. So <laughs> he took over a 5-7 and seven team. Ohio State won the national championship this year. 2014, folks. So that's what he walked into. He walked into a roster of NFL players. He walked into a roster where Brady Hoke handed him guys like Jabril Peppers. Handed him guys like Mo Hurst. Handed him guys like, what What are we? Whoa, whoa, the same wee. roster that went to the Sugar Bowl his first year. Right. That roster was full of talent. Wow. <laughs> wow. How do you want me to present this? I will leave this to you guys. Where's the accountability? No, no, hold on, hold on. Isn't it beautiful, though, when I do the show? And I beat these guys to the punch telling you what they're going to say. That is so good. That is so delicious. That is hot chicken noodle soup on an ice cold day good. That is, you're eight years old, you come inside from making a snowman, and there's chicken noodle, or in our case, there's like Manest on the stove. That is as good as it gets because Coward and Clatt are proving my point. This borders on political talking points handed out. And if you're on the left, you get this piece of paper. And you're on the right, you get that. And it doesn't matter whether I tune in at 9, at noon, at 3, at 6, at 10. No matter what TV show. The points on the left, the points on the right. They literally, or as our English friends like to say, literally did what I said they would do. Oh, it's so good. Oh, my God. Poor Harbaugh, the martyr. Here, Jim, let me get you off that cross. It looks uncomfortable. Let me, br- let me bring you down, Jim. He gets criticized every day. Oh, you know, poor Jim. Oh, my God. It must be an effing jungle in Ann Arbor. 
Oh, how do you deal with the slings and arrow of, wait for it, Ann Arbor, Michigan? They act like he's the Philadelphia Phillies manager. Oh, you ungrateful slobs. How dare you? He should go back to the NFL. This criticism is unjust. And Coward and Clatt delivered on exactly what I said they would do on these very airwaves. God darn, that is satisfying. Mm, another scoop of the hot chicken noodle. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Mike, you sell us. It's. I want you to know. Hold on. Take a breath. You just did. A, you just did a great read about poinsettias. There you go. Yeah, poinsettias or poinsettias. It's poinsettias. I I want you to just go ahead. Sell uh, David. I'm going to let him sell a topic. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Don't fail. Uh, I know that people will pick up the phone and start dialing. Mike, this is once again for some whatever reason. It is, but it's also another day where people are telling Michigan fans that they're not allowed to judge Jim Harbaugh. I mean, it's laughable to me. That people, they're unfair. People are obsessed with lecturing the fans and saying, hey, you can't judge Jim Harbaugh. You can't criticize Jim Harbaugh. This isn't fair at all. It's like, I just don't know where the accountability is. Because my question that I would ask those guys, at what point can we judge Jim Harbaugh right. then? Because right now, you want to talk about what happened before Jim Harbaugh? How about, how Fine. about, how about right the now, routine? At every single player on Michigan's roster right now is a Harbaugh recruit. How about this, this guy? Oh, well, this year's not the year to judge. Was last year? How about the year before? Like what? It's year? never going to be the year. Well, it, it, and it's it's funny too, Mike. How about this routine acting like he took over NC State football? Oh, it was in complete disrepair. No, Brady Hoke's teams had talent. They were poorly oh. coached. Like it's proven the roster he took over. Go pull it up. Go look at the players. What what are we doing here? It, it, it's just laughable to me that people want to. I, I don't know what, like, what what does it serve you? And I'm saying that more rhetorically because we can actually talk about FS1 and their requirements or whatever. Or ESPN. But what point does it serve to just blindly defend and say, hey, no, no, how dare people criticize Michigan? You can't criticize Harbaugh. We can't judge him for this because Ohio State's so good. Well, then you know what? Should, should there honestly just be never an expectation to beat Ohio State because they're wow. so good? Wow. Is that to the point where we've gotten to that people love Harbaugh so I, much that they I have wish. to minimize Michigan's program just to try to do anything to defend Harbaugh? Well, then Joel Clad is the same guy who gets up on the microphone when they all were slobbering over him in the game at Utah for his debut. Jim Harbaugh is the best football coach in America. Joel Klatt's words. But yet, hey, there's people that, that eat it up. I'm reading a text right now. What did they say that wasn't true? They are national. You guys aren't. They are optimistic. You're just being negative about Michigan. They're, my point is there's people that still eat all of this stuff up, sadly. What is, what is national and not me? Hey, here's a newsflash for you, just so you understand a couple of things. Coward makes great money. There's no question. But, like, national? Uh, that don't mean more money. Uh, you may just want to, like, learn something about this business. Like, it ain't like it used to be. Yeah, you're right. Doing nights on Fox Radio. Yeah, I'm sure you're killing it. Like, guys, come on. Cut it out. Just stop. But, but <laughs> really. see, my, my issue with it, too, Mike, like, honestly, if it was after year one, after year two, exactly. I probably could listen to this stuff and buy it. And I say, didn't you know start what, that, till, that makes sense. I didn't start till after year three. Five years. Five years through Jim Harbaugh's tenure at Michigan – and we're, we're just picking and finding excuses and finding reasons to just not blame him and say that he doesn't deserve criticism. That is I wild. think uh, there's there's a lot of Michigan fans who are honest and can say, I'm confident with this. There's a lot of Michigan fans who do say right now, hey, what Harbaugh has done so far has been unacceptable. He's underperformed. He's been a failure. All right, tell but the, the problem people. is this this is the this is the national rhetoric and this is the the loud voices that don't speak for everybody, in my opinion. Oh boy, we're not doing a blitz, are we? Okay. We'll get to the callers next. I, I see what's happening. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. We can get to a couple of the people. Go from there. Sully.